Hey guys, this video is going to be about the select command and how to use it. So let me start by teaching you how to select a whole file. You can do that by pressing percent. That selects everything on the screen. And now let me get you the select command. It's simple, you just press S and this is the select command. So now if I, if I type anything here, it will be selected. Do you see now on the first step, I selected everything and the select command basically lets you select within your selection. So now I did this and now I have basically every occurrence of ET selected in this text here. And I can change it if I want to. For example, I can just press C here and type something else. And now I've basically replaced the occurrence of the ET in the whole file. And this is basically how you do find and replace in Helix. And remember, if you want to collapse the cursors into one or get rid of all the extra cursors, in other words, you can just press comma. And now I have only one cursor again. And keep in mind, this select command, this works with text, just basic text obviously, but this command takes a regex, so you can do all kinds of stuff with this. You can, for example, do this. Now I've selected all the words, basically. I could do, I don't know, this, for example. Now I've selected some white space here. Or let's say I want to do this here. Then I can select uh, several things here. So it's extremely flexible and powerful to, to, to do this. And you can do this once, so you can sub-select within a selection with the select command by pressing S. But you can also just do it again. If I hit return here, I can basically just do S again. And now, for example, I could select just the E here. So now I've, I've shrunk my selection once again. So let me just go back to where I was here and select ET. And now, what if I don't like what I selected here? I could, for example, uh, say, okay, I don't want the ET here that is within another word. Do you see that in the first line, there are some longer words that also have ET in there. How do I get rid of those? So what you can do is uh, you can move your active selection. And but you can do that by pressing parentheses. If I do this here now, do you see it? The color changes a little bit. And whenever the color changes here, that's my active selection right now at the top here. And now I have my active selection up there. And now I can remove only the primary selection. And I can do that by pressing Alt, comma. So now that selection is gone. Let me do it again, Alt, comma. And I could go through here and basically get rid of all the selections I don't like. And what you can also do is you can cycle the content of the selections. So let me show you this one. I'm just going to select this paragraph here. And now I'm going to use the select command again to select something within this paragraph. For example, this, whatever that is. And something else like maybe this one. So now I have both of these selected. And now if I want to cycle between them, I can do Alt parentheses. You see it? Now I, I'm switching between them. I'm constantly cycling them. I can do it in both directions. So this is how you can cycle um, selections around if you want to. So let me now show you another thing here. And let me just uh, select this whole paragraph here. So as I just told you, S basically selects within your selection, but there's also capital S or shift S. And what, what, what that does is it basically splits your selection on a regex pattern. So you can give the command a regex pattern and then 
the selection that you have will be split according to that regex pattern. So, so let me give you an example of that here. I can type capital S or shift S. And then I can do this. I can do, let's say, comma, space, pipe, and this. So now I'm basically splitting my selection with this pattern here. So I'm basically splitting my selection at every comma or at every period. So now if I press enter, I have this uh, selection split here according to that. So now I can show you another trick here, and that is alt semicolon, and that basically reverses the selection. So now if I now press alt semicolon, do you see it? Now my cursor is at the other end of the selection. That means reversal, you know, like the reversal of the direction of the selection. So now I just collapse the selection here with semicolon. And now I could go in here and, for example, change the capitalization of these words with tilde. So now they're capitalized. I could also go in here and maybe replace everything with a, an exclamation mark, stuff like that. So yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to show you guys here. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.